Riley in a Kelly file segment tonight. Last week, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments challenging the Affordable Health Care Act. At issue, at least 34 states that don't have state run insurance exchange mechanisms. You're now to explain further, former FNC Supreme Court reporter, now the anchor of the Kelly file, Miss Megan. Look, this bores me to tears. It really does. Way to tear up my segment. It's important. <laughs> It's important, but it's so complicated, and no one cares about the inner mechanizations of this thing. They want to know whether the law is going to rise or fall. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's wording of the law is what the Supreme Court justices are going to have to rule on. Right? Yes, yes. So, you know, Obamacare works because we have these state exchanges. If you want to be an Obamacare client, or even if you don't want to be, but you must be pursuant to the law, then you have to go on either healthcare.gov and register, or you go through your state. Like in New York State, we have our own exchange. So 26 states have these, 34 don't. Correct. Uh, I think it's even fewer than that uh, in terms of the number of states. 13 states plus Washington, D.C. run their own exchanges. The remaining 37 use healthcare.gov, the, Fed, the federal government's exchange. Okay. Well, the, the truth is that when they set up Obamacare, the feds, Obama and everybody else believed, Every state was going to set up its own exchange because that's how you get the subsidies. Yeah, the so money they, from Washington goes to Albany. They wanted to make Albany. the states do it. They right. wanted to convince even but the red didn't. states, you should set it up because that's the only way you're going to get the subsidies and you need the subsidies to get people to sign up. What they didn't anticipate was that mostly these red states were going to say, you know what? Screw your subsidies. We don't want wow, your exchange. Wow, is that what they said? We don't want your they subsidies. They said that? They said it with their eyes. Uh, okay. Good. And, and so they didn't set it up. So then the Fed said, oh, crap, this is really editorializing. <laughs> and they said that word, too? Well, I wish I was at that discussion. <laughs> they did. I, I, anyway, so they said, we better do something to backstop this. And hence, healthcare.gov was born. So the Fed said, oh, let's plug all these holes, plug all these holes. Each state needs its own exchange. Okay, now we're covered. We've got the 13 states with their exchanges, and everybody else gets to deal with the beautiful, wonderful, smoothly operating healthcare.gov. Here's the problem. Wait, wait, That's not coming, what the law says. I'm just coming to the climax of my story. Okay. 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 So then some plaintiffs in Virginia say, wait a minute, you, you didn't let us... Uh, you, healthcare.gov was born because we chose not to set up the exchange. We did that because we wanted to do this to you. Mm, right, right, we didn't like it. And so now you are stuck with the result you promised us, which is we don't get the subsidies. You're forcing us to take the subsidies anyway. We challenge, you didn't write the law such that we can right. get the subsidies. And if they're right, this law is going to okay. fall apart. You're, you're, I don't, of course, understand a word of that. But <laughs> what, what I have taken about dirty it, words. what I have taken out of that, it, despite the, uh, the vernacular that you used, <laughs> is that they didn't write the law properly. They wrote it. At, yes, they did. They wrote it exactly as they wanted to write it. But it didn't They work. wanted to they beat the states in the submission. The states, right. the states said, we no, don't want we your don't subsidies. Okay. We, we'd like to see the law fall. And now the government's in the position of going in there and saying, the law doesn't mean how we wrote it. What, well, what see, you that's read what there, I'm saying. It, that's not what how we What you read in the law isn't what we meant. That's right. And the Supreme Court have four liberal people on it yeah. who want the law and they don't care what it says. Or as the New York Times describes, describes them, four moderates. The New York <laughs> yeah. Times says that the, the high court has five yeah. conservatives. And, and four, four moderates. moderates sure. That's all you need to know about the so times. The, so the four of them, they don't care what the law says. They just want Obamacare. So that leaves the five uh, to decide. Yep. And you have three conservatives who have already signaled we're not going to okay it. Yeah. And then it comes down to Kennedy. Alito, Scalia, and Thomas are, are going to vote it. against the law. So it, it's Kennedy and uh, the Chief Justice. In which, who, you know, need I remind the viewers, the Chief Justice was very squishy. Uh, right. Last time around, and and most conservatives turned on him in the wake of the first Obama so he decision, might not which be, he saved. He, he saved the law. He he, he w might not want to be squishy twice. So it's Kennedy that's really the swing vote. And ball, Kennedy right? seemed very squishy on the bench. Yeah. Just so squeeze like a little Pillsbury blade. When you were covering the Supreme thank you. When you were covering the Supreme Court, did you do that? Did you go? You can't get like a little squishy. Did you, know you do I that? Did when I was covering the court? What? Ruth, wake up. Oh, you woke her up. I thought you were going to say you gave her some wine. I'm telling you, every time she sleeps on the bench, right? somebody's got to do something. But she about already it. knows how she's going to vote. I she has to so listen. You know, I, I don't feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for Alito, who sits next to her and clearly is like, oh my God, she's Well, he can't asleep. hear. Oh, wake up. No, he can't hear because of the snoring. <laughs> and he doesn't get any wine. All right, Megan Kelly, everybody, let's get her out of here before uh, the police come. <laughs>